Simon O'Connor. Mr Speaker, I am pleased to uh, stand in support of this bill, the Inquiries Bill, in its uh, third reading, acknowledging the broad support across the House for it. I think uh, all of us uh, have experienced in different ways, direct or indirect, uh, the import of inquiries. They are something incredibly important. I think actually the, the previous speaker outlined one of the key principles there. It's not just about an inquiry for the government's sake, uh, but for the people of New Zealand. So it's very pleasing to see that ultimately we'll have three forms of inquiry, the public, government and royal commission. Um, these are well understood and will be well understood by the public of New Zealand. Um, it's also been noted, of course, it's been 1908 since this bill was looked at. Uh, it began uh, from the other side uh, when they were in government. We have now picked up the ball and brought it to completion. I note some speakers have uh, talked about this languishing uh, on the order paper. I think there's two points are needed there. The first, of course, is that uh, this government has over 60 pieces of legislation uh, on the order paper, and therefore it's always a matter of priority. Uh, the second point, of course, is that we have been going through several uh, commissions, royal commissions at that of late. Uh, there are learnings that have been taken from that, and those have been tabled through the supplementary order paper of the government. So, Mr Speaker, I am uh, again pleased to speak to this, and particularly pleased to see the clarifications that have been made, um, or better understanding what Clause 28 does around immunities and privileges. A number of us uh, spoke to that, uh, some at length, uh, some at, uh, in brevity. Uh, good to see that cleared up the support across the House, and once again I commend it to the House at this third reading. Uh, the Honourable Damien O'Connor. Uh, 